What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to defeat Crash Awake of the Pastoria City Gym, and now we got four badges total. And for what it looks like right here is try exploring Pastoria City. I kind of did that. Kind of did. I really did. Yeah, kind of did that. But anywho, there is something else that I wanted to show you guys. Now that we've gotten a little bit closer to, you know, showcasing some teams and all that stuff, or just showcasing some Pokemon, I decided to make another switch onto my team, mainly because, well, it's going to be needed. I kind of feel as though that's going to happen. It was a tough decision, but it's the best one for me. As you can see, I have switched Hydra for Lucky. As you guys can see, we already got a Quagsire. But I kind of wanted to get a Wooper. But I kind of wanted to get a Wooper, evolve it, and all that crud. Water and Ground type. We don't have a Ground type, a pure Ground type with us. Plus, this guy gives us an advantage when it comes to Electric type Pokemon. There is only one downside to it: is it that you know its speed is not the best right there. It does have the ability Water Absorb, which it will restore its HP if you know it's getting hit by any kind of water attacks or anything like that. So, we we kind of know what we're doing. I kind of know what I'm doing right here, guys. I am, uh, you know, I am planning on a, I'm planning on a team that will actually help us out into the Pokemon League. Don't be too surprised if you see more than one team go, come in here into this, uh, into this walkthrough. So, let us continue. Now, we already explored everything in Pastoria City. After we win our fourth badge, you talk to this guy, he's like, ha! <laughs> the package finally came from the Veilstone Warehouse. So, now it's my job to deliver this to the lake. This is an important mission. No failure allowed! No making boo-boos like wandering off into the Great Marsh. You were eavesdropping. I was just talking loudly to myself. If I wasn't in a hurry, I'd pulverize you with my Pokemon. But I have to get to, on my way to, to the lake ASAP. So you're lucky. I'm out. Oh, and listen up. You, uh, listen up, you. Don't you dare follow me. Okay, alrighty. Well, let's see. What does the mission say? Yeah, go chase the grunt. Okay, so now we're going to be going into unfamiliar territory because we went the other way here and well like, look at this guy he's like <laughs> persistent pest if our plan works our boss's dream comes closer to fruition our boss's ideal world is going to be created so I'm not going to waste my time on nobody like you I'm telling you now don't you come chasing after me okay alright and uh, really really man really so, our good old buddy Barry is right here. Whoops! <laughs> I'm not always going to plow into you every time we meet. So, how is how is it going, Draven? Buffing up your Pokemon, eh? I'll test you and your Pokemon out and see how buff they, uh, tough you are. Well, look at that. We got ourselves another Pokemon battle against Ikuetsuocha himself. And, well, oh god, he's coming out with his Starly. Now, let's see how buff up our Pokemon really is. Not that buff. I don't know, kind of. But I kind of made a, mi a big mistake right here by using Rosemont against the Starly. And, well, he, I kind of do have my Pokemon up to, like, level 9-ish or so. So, let's surprise him with Kid Stunda right here. And, oh, crap. He has a... <laughs> he has a Quick Claw, so he was prepared for me. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and use a... Well, we're going to get an ende Endeavor. And look at that, Static really hits it. Now there is one little downside to that, is that now that it has Endeavor, it can hit me twice as hard. So let's go, Thunder Punch for the win. Suck it. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. All right, we're, we're, we're working, and he's coming out with a Primplup. I wonder, oh yeah, I do have the, the right Pokemon for this. Okay, let's continue with Kid Thunder right here. This guy has no chance. Let's go, Thunder Punch. Yeah, buddy, look at this. Thunder Punch. Getting it. Yeah, oh, wow. <laughs> you can survive. Alright, lucky. You're being lucky. And Crap Baskets, that is a strong Pokemon. Okay, so here we go. Thunder Punch yet again. And a Primplup. Defeated. Alrighty, alrighty. I'm feeling good about this. And, well, just like that, we defeated uh, another guy. And he's coming out with a Roselia. That kind of irks me a little because, yeah, that's the same Pokemon. It has the same Pokemon as me. You guys already know how I feel about, you know, Pokemon trainers that use the same Pokemon as me. It's, a, it's annoying. It really is. So here comes Roselia. And as we already know, it is a poison type Pokemon as well. So let's go with a little psychic attack right here. 
Yeah, buddy. Ultra Psycho Bean, the cheat code it is. <laughs> and it's jumping up and down. Yeah, Barry has no clue what he's missing, who he's messing with. And well, Kid Thundle grows to level 33, and this guy's about to use a ponytail right here, so let's go straight for. I think it would be an easy battle. Not an easy battle, but we are at a disadvantage, guys. We are at a disadvantage because Wooper is a little slow. And well, this guy's like, yeah, I can tell you raise your Pokemon to be tough. Alright. Let's go. Ponyta, you think you, you you got it all. So here we go. Aqua Tail. Here comes a tackle attack, and that really hits us pretty hard. So here we go. Aqua Tail. Hits him. And that was super effective. So let's go with one more. And this guy. Seriously? You gonna go with the agility? That's kinda messed up right there. Okay, well, here we go. And that, okay, he avoided the attack, so let's go ahead and here comes a flame wheel attack. And this is gonna hit us pretty hard, so. What the hell? What the hell is that? And it's using a shell ball. So this guy's actually using items, holy crud! And just like that, Ponyta has been defeated. Lucky wins its first battle. And it grows to level 25. Yeah, buddy, look at that. <laughs> He's not so happy. What just happened? You're telling me I lost? Mm hmm. Lost. To me. And guess what? Yeah, buddy. Lucky is evolving. Okay, so since we already got a Quagsire, guys, I think it's no, no secret that we used Lucky quite a few times never managed to get it its own redemption. I'm hoping that in this walkthrough right here we can get its redemption. So say hello to Quagsire, the strongest one, and <laughs> yeah, maybe you did get a bit tougher since last time. That even shocked me a bit, so yeah, I got I got because I was careless. So hey, what was uh, that Team Galactic guy all freaking, about, uh, freaking out about? I don't know what he's up to, but you should chase him down. If you're not a Pokemon, or if you're not a Pokemon, and you run like that, you're a bad guy. Alright, Draven, next time. I'm not holding back. You know, you said that the last time, and you... You still suck, homeboy. You suck. In fact, you suck dick, okay? I said it. There we go. So, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. And, let's see. Let's give one more to Lucky right there. Okay, so, let's go ahead and take a look at Lucky. Now that it's fully evolved, both ground type and all that stuff, and its speed has risen just a tad bit. It is a physical attacker, a physical defensive Pokemon, so I think I already know what kind of a strategy I could use with this Pokemon right here. So, let's go right ahead and talk to some people. It's a long way from Vilestone, I'm exhausted. Uh, footprints are left in the sand when you walk on the beach. Pokemon seem to enjoy leaving footprints as much as people. Yet I'll say. Okay. Alrighty, so here we are in Route 213. We have not been to this area right here because, well, you know, good old Draven went the uh, other way around, the long way. And, oh wait, no, I'm not going to do that. And uh, the only reason I did that was because I wanted to visit the mansion with all the Pokemon. That's where I got myself Aaliyah and uh, I think, I think uh, Shock, or what was it? Uh, what was it? Uh, the other Pokemon, the other Pikachu, you know what I mean. You guys already know what I'm t talking about. Alright, so let's see. There's no other interesting Pokemon you can find right here. And because of that, I'm actually going to put on a repel because, yeah, editing editing uh, so much got you guys got a little frustrated. So we're going to have to, like, take a little breather on that. And there's really nothing you can find right here. So, as you can see, there is a, there's some boulders right here that you, you can actually climb. Unfortunately, we don't have the HM move for that. So let's talk to this guy. There's something on the top of the big cliff here. My instincts tell me that the that, but how am I supposed to climb up? Yeah, well, you gotta have an HM. So let's go right ahead and battle some more Pokemon trainers because that's what we do. We battle trainers, we win, you know, glory and all that crud. So here we go. We are taking on Beauty Cindy, and she's coming with a glam meow. I'm gonna sit down a little because. It's whatever, and well, let's see. Rosemont's waiting for directions. Let's go with a Dazzling Gleam attack. Now, there we go. Dazzling Gleam does its trick. Glammeow has been defeated. Now, we got a long road back to Veilstone, and this might be like maybe two episodes. 
Probably. I don't know. I don't like doing hour-long episodes. I don't know how long you guys are, uh, your attentions would retain, so that's so why we're doing short episodes. Now, here we have Dr. Footprints, and I kind of want to go with a good old buddy Infernomon, just in case, you know, this requires me to, uh, you know, have a Pokemon well-liked. And, well, Pokemon are quite easy for me to read. I need only to see their footprints, and their er innermost thoughts are revealed to me. Oh, you are skeptical of my claim? Then let your infernape uh, walk in front of me right here. From its footprints, I will determine how it feels about you. Draven. Draven is, or Draven is a remarkable human and trainer that I can always perform my best in any, uh, any infernape possibly can. I can attribute that entirely to my partner, Draven. When we travel, I, just, I can see wild Pokemon eyeing us env enviously. Huh. And that is what your infernape thinks of you. I must say, you're Infernip and you share a very close bond. This is for you, and we get ourselves a footprint ri ribbon for our Pokemon. Now, off screen, yes, I'm going to. I'm going to check out a few. Uh, well, I'm going to get some of my Pokemon to get their ribbons and whatnot. I'm pretty sure some of the ones that I sent back to the to the PC will have some. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon, and let's see if we can actually use like an item for for Lucky right here. Let's see. Like play, can't use that. Fist plate. You know, I could give that. You know what? I'm gonna give that to. I'm gonna give that to Inf Infernomon and. Wait. Okay. So we got two of those suckers. Okay. And let's give the quick claw to Lucky right here because yes, we're gonna need it. We're really gonna need it. All right. Let's go right ahead and. Okay, we already switched out. Let's go ahead and battle. Oh, I almost had that fish reeled in. You did, didn't you? Okay. Alrighty, here we go. We are taking on another Pokemon trainer. And, uh... Oh, he's coming out with magic cards. Okay, so that... You, you guys already know what's going to happen right here. Alrighty, okay. So let's go right ahead and continue on the onslaught with the fire punch attacks. Or, I mean, thunder punch. And mm -hmm, there we go. So no more of those guys. And he's coming out with a Gyarados, so let's continue on right here. Now, as for Pokemon changes, Pokemon that I am interested in, uh, I've been noticing that I've been noticing that in the Grand Underground, you can actually find a very, very uh, tough, very interesting Pokemon, very rare Pokemon. And I have my eyes set on quite a few that I kind of want to try them out and all that stuff. I know that, you know, I've worked hard for some of the current Pokemon that we have right here. But it's all about what we, like, the finished product. I want to actually have a team that can actually go up against the Elite Four just once. Trust me, guys. The Elite Four that you're going to take on, I uh, hear it's the toughest one in recent memory. They made them tough. They actually use items. Like, held items. You know how scary that is? We only had that benefit, and now it's like, wow, they, they, they can actually use it at Hell Idols? This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. So, yes, we have defeated another trainer, and yes, we are trying to make sure to cover our asses for everything. Okay, so, let's see. Talk to this guy. There's a fancy hotel and a fancy place with a fancy restaurant. The fancy restaurant's filled with a fancy people who think of themselves as being too fancy to battle alone. Fancy that. Okay. Now, let's go right here. Open this up, and that will break that, and we will grab that, and, well, look at that, we got ourselves a TM40, which is also great, and, well, let's see, I don't think we need another repel, another repel right now, so let's go right ahead, and let's go right ahead and continue on the onslaught right here of catching this guy around and well let's go ahead and talk to this guy we need the energy from the valley windworks to make this it would take a specific genius to make something like this therefore our boss who made this is a scientific genius Gah! you are eavesdropping I was just thinking out loud you're a persistent pest I'm getting tired of running away but I'm not going to waste my energy knocking you around okay you keep on saying that you keep on saying that, and eventually we're going to have to battle. I'm just saying. 
I am just saying. So let's go right ahead and we'll continue following this guy wherever he goes. And unfortunately, we're going to get attacked by this guy right here. Isn't this nice? I love my inner tube. Huh. Your inner tube. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. Another Pokemon battle right here against Jared. He's coming out with his Shellish right here. Now, this could be another potential Pokemon that I could use. I could use, probably. I don't know. Ide Ideally, it's kind of like a Quagsire. A pseudo version of Quagsire, but I kind of want to use Quagsire instead because I guess it's more physically gifted and all that stuff. There are moves that I could use against other trainers. And look at that, level 37, Ultra Psycho. And he's going to be coming out with a Shellow. So let's go straight for Rosemon right here. Alrighty. Let's go for the Rosemon and... There we go. We're taking on... Uh, taking on another one right here. And uh, well, let's see. I think this is... Like around this time, this is where we were supposed to actually... Uh, what was it called? We were actually supposed to... Uh, meet up with the regional variant of, uh, of Shellows. Instead, we found out, like, in the gym, I think. Probably. Could be wrong. And he's about to come out with another Jello, so let's continue it on right here. And, well, let's go ahead. Giga Drain this whole thing. Yeah, buddy. Giga Drain. For the win! And, well, I knew we could do it. Yes, we could. Alright. And, just like that, we win another battle. Say goodbye to... Say goodbye to Jared right here. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty. So, let's see. What else do we have to do? Actually, take on another trainer right here. Holy crud. <laughs> so many goddamn trainers. Alright. Alrighty, so here we go. Take it on another gym or another trainer. Her name is Chelsea. Wanting us to battle right here. She's coming out with a Bibarel. Okay, now it is actually a water type Pokemon, which is great. So, let's go continue with the th Thunder Punch. Thunder Punch right here. Maxi. Double Punch or th Thunder Punch. <laughs> there we go. And just like that, we receive eight experience points. And Rosemont grows to level 36. And Chelsea has a, you know, Chelsea has done her thing right there. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, we can't really surf around this area right now. So now we're going into an area that we should have been, and here's a red shard. And well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and see what this is all about. Hotel Grand Lake. Another world on Lake Valor. Yeah, not bad. And then we go right here. This is a regional variant of Shellos. I stand stoically in front of a deep blue sea. Why? Because I'm a rich boy. The seaside suits me better than the sea. Huh? Okay, rich boy, whatever you say. Okay, so here we are in front of, uh, well, this is a, a hotel, I guess. This hotel is so romantic. I hope a night on a Pokemon will sweep me away for a honeymoon here. Yeah, you're, 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 you're pretty much aiming for the, you're pretty much aiming for everything. Oh, hello, you wish to stay the night? I'm afraid we're totally booked. You may rest a while if you wish. And, well, this actually pl pretty much heals our Pokemon right here. Okay, alrighty, so... Yes, we are healed. We are good to go. And, well, let's go right ahead and... Let's see, what else? Okay, so here we are, Route 213. This isn't exactly a full-on city, a real city. But if you talk to people, he's like, Is that right? You're a traveler? Yes, it's, a good, it's good to see other places. Have you heard of the World Island or the World Islands in the Johto region? The silver-colored Pokemon. I must see that in my lifetime. Well, trust me, we're going to see that pretty soon here. I know, I know, I hear you guys. I really do hear you guys. Now, let's see. Let's go right ahead and see what this is all about. We're going to be talking to this guy. We're traveling troop of street performers. In place of a formal introduction, please take these. And here we have TM92s. And what does a TM92s do? The trick room, yes. Trick room actually does, uh, well, it actually helps you out right there. What was it? What does it do for you? Oh yeah, it actually switches up stats. Well, for like five turns and whatnot, but <laughs> it's pretty much right there. And uh, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and move on right here. Talk to this guy or this chick right here or guy, I think. Me, I'm just a simple soul. I lead. 
I let my guitar do all the talking. All I need is music and Pokemon. I can shine wherever I go if I have those things in my life. Huh. Okay. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. The trash is empty. <laughs> Not that. Let's talk to. Okay. I'm trying my hardest. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let me gaze into your eyes. I will read your fortune. Let's see. Okay. A magical encounter is in the winds. Though I cannot tell whether it will be with a Pokemon or a trainer. Huh. A Pokemon or a trainer. Must be, uh... You know, must be foreshadowing something uh, pretty big right there. Okay, so... That right there is, uh... That right there is that. So let's go right ahead and move on. Now there are some houses right here that we're not gonna be able gonna uh, not gonna be able to 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 get in because we don't have rock climb. But here we are in the Valor Lakefront. Technically, this is the lakefront right here. And if you talk to these guys, this is the game director. Hi there, it's me, the Gengar, lo the Gengar loving director, battling other trainers. Uh, sure, is it exciting, isn't it? Keep building up those bonds with your Pokemon so you can take on tougher trainers. Foreshadowing a lot of stuff, guys. And talk to this guy. Ciao. Something, something, something. You're working on filling the Pokedex, aren't you? It's awesome that you're going to meet lots of Pokemon. Come show me your Pokedex when you fill it with tons of entries. <laughs> I wonder what happens. I really do, do wonder what happens. Now, if you go right here, I, I think you're, yeah, you're going to be finding yourself a PP up, which is great. And uh, let's see. Come on back here after you've defeated the champion. Don't forget about me here. Okay? Okay. And I'd rather be in a pool than in the sea. The salty tang of the sea tastes like my tears after a hard day of work. Ha! <laughs> tang! And, well, let's see. Seven Stars Restaurant. And, well, let's go ahead and see what, what this is all about. Let's see. Um, actually, I think you battle some people right here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing that right there. I'm going to wait until the next episode. And, well, would you look at that? Homeboy is waiting for us right here. He's like, why am I running like this anyway? That that new universe the boss was talking about. He's giving me the goosebumps thinking about it. So, we use this. Oh, damn. He notices me. Huh. You were eavesdropping. I was only talking to myself. You're persistent, too. I'm pooped out from all the running. But I'm not going. I'm not going to battle you. Chicken. The real chicken right there. Real big chicken. And, uh, well... Talk to this lady. What am I to do? I've gone and dropped my suitcase, uh, suit key somewhere again. The hotel people won't be happy to me. I'm sure I had it when I left the reception counter earlier. All right, so we're gonna have to look for that because that's important somewhere. Should be around here somewhere. Hold on. Should be around here. Hold on, just a sec. Okay, so actually no. Okay, click on that. Yeah, click on that. Click the buttons. Let's see. Let's see. Where? Oh, where can we find some items? Because there are some hidden items around here, guys. So let's see. Click on this. Nothing. Oh, there's some. There's, there should be something right here. Okay. So I'm only assuming that it's right here somewhere. Huh? Where is it? Okay, so we passed it. Right here. Okay. And... How about here? God dang, it's really... There it is! We found the suitcase! Okay! Or suit key. So after doing that, we're gonna go straight to the girl and see what happens. Let's see. Sir, what am I to do? I've gone and dropped my suit key again, and there we go, giving it back to her. And well, let's go ahead and take a look at what we can actually find. Let's see, is there a reward? Let's see, thanks for helping me out. Here's something for your trouble. We get ourselves a lava cookie, not bad, okay. Uh, cookies, yeah, okay. So, lava cookie actually, I think it changes the stats or something like that if you're affected. Now, here's the last time we're meeting up with this guy, and he's like, huh. No, you're still on my tail? Legs within sight! You leave me no choice. My Pokemon will knock you out! Okay. Alrighty. So here we go, taking on a Team Galactic Grunt. And he is coming out with his Glam Meow right here. Alright, so get Thunder ready to go. 
ready to just destroy people right here. So let's go with a fire punch. We haven't yet to use any kind of fire punch. So there we go. Fire punch. Barely this uh, well almost destroys this guy. And uh, well, there's a scratch, scratch, scratchity scratch attack right there. So let's go one more time with a fire punch. And bam, Blam Meow defeated. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Okay. Alrighty. And well, Team Galactic Grunt has been defeated. And well, let's see. I can't battle anymore. I'm running out of, on fumes. I have to give uh, this to the commander. I wish I got it, uh, got to use it at the lake. Okay, so that was weird. But after you do that, let's see. I kind of feel like something should have happened right here. I don't know. Oh yeah, look at this. Whoa, would you look at that? It's our girlfriend, Cynthia. Oh, hello, long time no see. How is your Pokedex filling up? I came to research the folklore about the lake, but, well, it doesn't appear as if the lake is open to the public right now. Have you heard of the folklore about it? They say there is an island uh, inside the lake and the, that a mysterious Pokemon resides there. No one must enter the chamber of that Pokemon. Sorry to change the subject, but have you seen the group of uh, Psyduck on Route 210? Yes, I have. Yes, that's right. By the cafe on Route 210. You've seen a group of Psyduck uh, huddle with their heads in the, with, uh, with their heads in their uh, hands? Anyway, what you should do is use this medicine on the Psyduck. You're working on a Pokedex, so it would be worthwhile for you. And long and I, we get ourselves a secret medicine. And from there, I went on a big adventure with the Pokedex when I was younger. It may help you uncover the secret behind the mysterious Pokemon you're searching for. I hope you get to meet every kind of Pokemon there is to see. See you later. Oh man, she, man, the hair on her. Mm. Anywho, guys, we're gonna pause our episode right here. Uh, before we get to Route 210, we're gonna be going through the north side of this area right here to get to Veilstone, and then from there, Route 210 to go into the next area. So again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.